Hello and welcome to PCSimulators.org, the channel for PC simulation gaming. Today is going to be a first play, first look at Car Mechanic Simulator 2014. No, you won't believe this, but I've picked it up for 99 pence. That's right, 99 pence in on the Steam sale. So let's have a look at it. Well, I'm going to do this is the first time I've actually started the game. So here we are. Let's look. Options begin exit. So we go to options. Uh, video, let's click on video and yes, empty. I always stick on eight times. We stick everything on maximum because we're lucky enough to have um, GTX 918 SLI mode, so we'll try that. But the frame rate looks like it's stuck at 60 anyway. What's this other one do? Mouse smoothing, inverted mouse, no. So you can have an Azerty keyboard, highlight block parts, yes, we want to do that. Camera zoom, inverted mouse, mouse smoothing, yep, that's okay, we don't need any of that. Audio. We we'll leave that as it is for now. 3D effect. Hmm, wonder what that's all about. Okay, so let's click on back. We've done all those settings we need, and we only got three options. Of course, the Car Mechanic Simulator 2015 is also out, so you can have a look at that. But for 99 pence, I thought I'd, let's have a look at it. So begin, and we've got three more options. We need to create a profile, so let's create a profile. PC Simulators dot org. Save. Okay, so that's our first profile, and now we can click on play. So we've got a few things. We've got an add-on, four x four add-on, no game saved, and a quarter mile add-on, and endless, which is locked. So I don't quite know what endless does because it's locked. So we're going to click on. Let's click on the career mode. Turn the volume up a little bit in a second. So I, I looked this for a number of times on Steam, was browsing through, and I thought, well, what's it really all about? And here we are. Welcome to the Car Mechanic Simulator. In this tutorial, you will learn the basics of the gameplay. So great, it's got a tutorial to start with. We are in off our first garage, the most basic garage in the game. But if your career progresses, you will unlock more professional garages with diagnostic paths and chip tuning. Let's start from the basics. Walk to the radio in the opposite corner of the garage and turn it on. So yet again, our usual WASD keys to walk around, as in most games, W forward, S backwards, A left, D right. So while near the radio, use it by clicking the left mouse button on the icon. So the opposite corner of the garage. So where's the opposite corner of the garage? Oh, there it is. Radio switch. When you are close enough to perform an action, all oh right. So this icon appears when you can click on it. Then you can press the action key to use it. Let's try to operate the car lifter. Go to the car lifter panel and switch it to the upper position. Okay. So where's the car lifter? Hmm. Car lifter, where are you? Oh look, there they are. This is going up. That's great. This concludes our first basic tutorial. You know how to move around the garage and how to interact with the equipment. It's time to start the job. Okay, so what I did find was the mouse seemed to be a bit quick when I was moving left and right. So we'll see if we got the option to change that in-game. Hopefully we have. So, this our first customer has arrived. The, the job description and goals are listed in the repair order, which is on the left there. You can always return here from quick menu and the right mouse button. After completing all the tasks, you can finish the job by stamping the form. So let's see. So the vehicle detail is the Genesis Town, never heard of that one, 2006, the manufacturer's model code, the VIN number, ready to drive away, stamp prepared, okay. Replace front pads and check front disc brakes, okay. So right mouse button exits. And now you have to replace the brake pads. Go to the PC and buy four new brake pads from the car parts shop. Okay. There's the PC. Oh, <laughs> hey, that car parts shop. So, what do we need for brake pads? 
break. That's the one. Have I pulled the right then? Oh. What have I done? I don't know what I'm supposed to have done yet. Is that it? Okay. How do I get out of here? Hmm. I'm a bit stuck now. What's that? Oh. I thought you said to buy brakes. Which I did. Oh, perhaps I have to buy the brake pad. Oh, there you go. So you have to buy four brake pads. Go to the first wheel to start disassembling. Remove wheel by unscrewing the bolts. Then remove the brake caliper to get access to the brakes. Brake pads. Cool. Okay, so how do we get up here first of all? Close that up. Hello? How do we get out? Right, oh, escape. Didn't actually tell us there, did it? So the other thing I wanted to check was can I... No, you can't change the sensitivity of the mouse. Okay, so we're stuck at the moment. Let's go to the car and change the great brake pads. There's the car. Way too fast, man. So, wheel inspect. Okay, perform three main actions in the mechanic mode. You can disassemble the parts, you can assemble them, and you can examine. Icons in the top corner of the screen will show us which action is active. To switch between actions, open the quick menu by clicking the right mouse button and choose another one. So, let's stay in disassemble, right, in, we're in disassemble mode. There you can see in the top right hand corner. We have to take out the old brake pads, start by unbolting the wheel and the brake caliper, then remove the old pads. Okay, so. Alright, there you go. So you've got to keep clicking the mouse button here. I can keep pressing the left mouse button to remove the screws because it didn't actually really specify that you have to hold it down, but you do. So now we're going to remove uh, remove this screw. When it goes green, you can remove them left. So that's the caliper out the way. Uh, and now we have to remove the, oops, the calipers. Oh, shoot. All right, I'm still not sure yet. Brake disc, okay. What do you say you have to do? All oh, right, there you go. So you have to change to examine mode. That's how you do that, 60%. Right, so I've done that. So what do I do next? Assemble mode, no, we don't want assemble mode. So it's a little bit confusing at the moment, so what are we going to do now? Right. right, so we move that. Right, okay, so now we've assembled the old brake pads on one side, it's time to assemble the new ones. Switch to the assemble mode and mount the new pads, okay. So something seems to get a bit lost really when, uh, the, what you have to do next. So okay, click on, we don't want this assemble mode, we want assemble mode. So we'll put these brake pads on. So I clicked on the brake pad there, and I'm going to select one of my brake pads. And then click on the back one and do the same. And there you go. So one more thing, remember the customer should check his display. Switch to examine mode and select the brake disc to examine. If you know the condition of the parts, you can repair wear on them. Not every part can be examined by hand. Some need to be examined in other ways, like OBD scanner, test drive, or diagnostic part. Okay, so we have to go to, let's go to examine mode. Okay, we've done that already, I believe. So we've got the, okay, Q and E, the camera, the rotate, the middle mouse button's in. Okay, so we've, we've done that, so what do we want to do now? A bit lost again. Not quite sure what they want me to do next. I've examined that already. Do I examine the other one behind? Well, I can't because it won't let me select it. 
We all have a friend. I've examined that. I've examined that. Oh. I've just fooled Miguel. <laughs> ah! Right. What am I supposed to be doing here? Assemble, disassemble. Right, put the brake pads back on. So I click on um, brake pad. Click on the brake pad, put that brake pad on. Right, okay, so we've done that. We've done all this. So what have we got to do next? Can we go... Okay. He said I need to inspect something, which I did. I thought I already did that, so let's try again. Um, what's this? Right, show parts. Examine conditions. Okay, so we're examining yet again what we already examined. I don't understand what it's supposed to. What I'm supposed to be doing here. I can't examine anything else. Just tries anything. No? Well, this is a bit this is a bit of a confu this is a bit of confusion. We've got wheel inspect, right? So we've done that. We've done that. So Can I walk over? I walk over the other side, let's see if we can uh, take this one off and see what it says. A bit lost there really, it didn't actually specify what else we were supposed to do. So you've got to hold the button, the left button down to take these screws off, otherwise it won't let you take them off. So we're going to examine this one. Let's go into examine mode. That's 63, so we've examined that. Now, so now we want to go back into the temple. We we'll take off this caliper. Take off those brakes. Okay. Now we'll add another brake on, so I've left clicked it. Left click again. Left click the shadow behind. You see the shadow behind you, so left click that. Will it let me? Uh, uh, see, it's a bit difficult to select this sometimes. Let's go back a bit. Right, there you go. It's a bit fiddly. Oh, I mean, I need to go in assemble mode, yeah. So, where's the other break? Oh, <laughs> yeah. All over the place. Right, you go back in assemble mode. Let's, let's see if we can do the back, the back one. It's very difficult sometimes to actually get the one you want. There you go. So, okay. Got the back one and the front one. I was a bit hard to select that one. Okay. So now we've done that, what are we supposed to do now? We've changed the brake. Oh, let's put that. Do we need to put this back on? There we are. Okay. Put that screw in. Ah, now it's coming together. We're nearly there now. So what did I do then? Well, I forgot to put the caliper on. That's what I, ha I did on the other side. So I'll have to go to the other side now. And put the caliper on. So you have to keep pressing these until the green thing disappears. The green outline. Yeah, so that's what I forgot to do. But it didn't really specify that I had to put that on, so I had to work that one out by chance. So there you go, the calipers were missing, so put the tyre back on and the screws, hold the left button in to screw the screws in until they disappear. There you go. And that's it. So what now? There you go. So I, then I had to go to the repair and see how I repaired it. But it didn't give you the prompt there, even though it was supposed to be tutorial. So yes, that's it. We repaired it and we go to the next order. So to finish it off, you had to right click, get the invoice back up and stamp it. So some prompts weren't there. We weren't there, we were, were they? So let's have a look at the next one.
we got another repair order invoice in we got to replace the air filter the oil filter and the fuel filter and this is an asian cougar so okay we'll accept that we'll press the right mouse button to exit and now let's see uh the air filter and the oil filter so i suppose we have to open the bonnet There you go, so there's the engine. Engine inspect. So, uh, what do we do we have to do? Let's just have a check of the order. We had to replace the air filter, oil filter, and fuel filter. That's the exhaust. New oil is a golden colour, so it's got its golden colour here, and the old one is black, so we don't have to worry about that. Has the alternator. Uh, where's the air filter? Let's zoom out a bit. I can't see it. Oh, is that it? Uh, airflow tube, airflow meter, air filter cover. So, do we have to replace that one? Let's have a look air filter, oil filter and fuel filter. That's the airflow meter, uh, that's the air filter cover. Can I disassemble that? No? No? Ah, there we go. I just thought, I think I need to buy one, don't I? There we go. So we already had the one. Ha. So I then I thought that I had to go to the shop to buy a filter because I did that early on with the, with the pads, but it looks like it was already in stock. <laughs> so okay, we've done that. So let's go. What else we need to do? Uh, the oil filter. The oil filter. Oil filter plug. There. Oh, there's a belt tension there. Mm -hmm. Normally the oil filters are on the bottom somewhere, isn't it? Is that it? Can I, I can't see behind. Let's have a look. Examine conditions. Oh, no? I can't really see what's going on behind. How do you show path conditions? Okay. What's that? Rubber brush, brew, rubber something. Where's the oil filter gone? It's normally, I normally think it's on the end, yeah, the bottom of the engine, isn't it? Hello, where are you? What's that? Belt, alternator, engine block, manifold. Starter. Oh no, we don't want to move the starter. Ah. Gearbox. Well, this is hard. I <laughs> can't find it. <laughs> I can't find it. The oil filter. Where's the oil? That's the starter. I don't want to move the starter. That's the brakes. In a rod. Oh dear. Come on, oil filter. Where are you? I could have sworn the oil filter's wrong here somewhere. Okay, I think um, rather than spend more time on that, let's have a look if I can find the other bit. So, the fuel filter, that should be near the back, shouldn't it? I hope, well, I don't know. Let's have a look. Oh, what's this bit? It's flashing red, but I don't know why. Oh, all right, so that high show park, it just shows you it's in good condition or not, so that just doesn't mean I have to change it. But I still need to find the fuel filter somewhere, and I am having trouble. So let me see. 
If I can escape out of there, that's the engine. Is there anywhere else I can look? I'm getting in the car. Oh, look, I'm, I'm checking something. Checking the computers by the looks of it. it. Didn't ask me to do that, mind. Okay. What else is there? Not a bad looking car, is it? Let's get that out. Well, I still can't see where the <laughs> where I'm supposed to be looking for the oil. Uh, the uh well, it's got to be here. There's nowhere else I can check, so it's got to be in here somewhere. So there's that's the front suspension. Oh, this is frustrating. Let me go back into it. Um, let's have a look. Let's go into examine conditions. But we don't want that. I would always thought that it was the fuel filter was wrong here. Ah, it's a bit frustrating having to look around to see where everything is, so I'm going to press it on pause until I find it, so hold on a second. And now let's go and have a look underneath. It looks like there it is. So we need to take out the filter. Oh, there you go. So all the oil's coming out. Well, what happened there? I think I actually ended up paying for something. It's not, I have to keep holding the button and it's not doing it. Let's do it again. Okay, so I've done that. Let's see if I can add now an oil filter underneath here. So go back to uh, assemble this. Okay, so I'm going to look for the fuel filter now and because I still can't, I'm having trouble with the oil filter. So I presume it's at the back of the car. Let's have a look. There is fuel filter, so we'll change the fuel filter. And now we need to add another one. Hello. Well, we've taken it up. How are we going to add it back? Right.
let's see <laughs> let's just click on repair no we can't <laughs> we can't repair it yet ah I thought I did the fuel filter already Right, there's a fuel pump so how can we replace that one then that's condition 80 88 percent but it did say we need to replace the fuel filter ah it's a fuel pump so there's the fuel filter there we are god takes some looking at the net so we've done that and now we need to assemble a new part. It's a bit difficult to get the handles right. Okay, so there you go, we've mounted it. Okay, I managed to find the oil filter cap. It stupidly is right next to the dipstick. So, let's see. We'll disassemble that. filter out assembly a new one put a new one in yep get the oil filter in oil filler cap I think that should be it so let's see if we can repair it oh no it's still not repaired it's still not repaired damn 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 okay I thought we did that. Something's missing. I don't know what's missing. But something is missing. I thought we did a fuel filter as well. I'm sure we did. So what have we got here? Brake pads. We've got brake pads. So the inventory you get by, by clicking and, and doing... Oh, look. Hide, show, body. What does that do? Oh, that's there. Oh, I see. So that allows us to see where things are. Oh, that's the fuel filter there. Let's try it again. Oh no, I've, it seems to have disappeared. Huh? <laughs> right, let's get let's, let's click in this one. Can I go back in? For some reason, I can't go back in. Have I repaired it? No. So I have to go back to the high, click hide shows me to go back into the car mechanic mode. So, right, I see air filter. I could have sworn we already done the air filter. Disassemble mode. Air filter cover, air flow tube, so we're here. Uh, okay, let's take that off. Perhaps we need to take that off. Then, all oh right, let me take this off. I see. So I didn't actually only change the tube, but not the filter. So I had to take the tube out. Now I can get to the air filter. Now I can take the. Oh, I see. It's like a puzzle, isn't it? So taking the um, the air filter out, and I think then we're done. So. Let's just replace that. Put a new one in. Go to assemble mode. Let's put a new one in. Put the air filter cover back on. Back in the screws. Why is he using the spanner? So, it gets you thinking there, doesn't it? It's because you have to take the certain parts up before you can get to the part you want to change. So, didn't have much of a clue there at the beginning, but I've worked it all out now. There we go. Put that screw in, and I hope we're done. There you go. 
do that not. Oh, we still haven't replaced it. Repair it. Ah, oh, right. What is going on? Okay, so I've done that bit. I've done. I'm sure I've done the the, the, the fuel filter. I'm sure I've done that. That's done now. Uh, I thought I did this too, but let's just try again. Perhaps I haven't done a job. Okay, so let's go back to assemble. There's only one part I can mount, and, that, and that's that's done. So. The only thing I could think of now is the rear of the car, which is the fuel filter. So, okay. Let's make sure one more time. Can we repair it? No, we have. Let's lift the car up. I need to put the mouse sensitivity down. Yep, okay, there it goes. So, for some reason, we've still got one part that we need to fix. Ah, fuel filter. There it is. So that says eighteen percent. So can we stick a new one in there? No, we want to assemble it, don't we? Why didn't it let me? Right, so that's gone. So now we now have to add another fuel filter. Okay, so we've done that. <laughs> it, still, it still says we haven't done it. We've placed the air filter, we've done the oil filter, we've done the fuel filter, and now so I have to buy them. Which I haven't done so. Okay, so perhaps we need to go to the shop and buy them all. It's something I haven't done. So, okay, let's go to the shop. I think what I stupidly did is put the old ones back on. So car parts shop, we need air filter, yes. Uh, we need um, an oil filter. Okay, so oil, oil and the oil. H-I-J-K-L-M-N, oil filter, okay. And um, a fuel filter. There you go. So. Let's do it again. <laughs> How dumb of me. So, go, let's, put this, take this, let's take this old one out. And uh, we're going to put the new one in. There you go. That's done. Let's lower the car so we can put the rest of it in. Uh, inspect the engine first. Let's get the oil filter done. Oops. Put a new one in. So let's click on that. Uh, 100%. There you go. Um, what was the last bit of the air filter? Yeah, so we've got to take all this off again. Let's disassemble. Take that out. Screws out. Okay, take the top off. So, important lesson. You need to go to the shop to buy the new parts before you replace any. Unlike me, who decided to use the same parts. So, 
Is that a quick way without it? No, nope, it doesn't seem to be. Okay, so let's add the new filter. Let's put the old one back. Because that's okay. There we go. And then this time it should be replaced. But at least I've learned where things are. Let's put this back on. Yes, the airflow meter. Put that on. And whoops. And screw there. And another. Uh, come on. Why is this one going in now? Is it broken? Oh no. Oh no. Oh. What's happening? Do it again. So I just clicked on it to do it again. Looks like I have to get around the other side for that one. Don't know why that was the case, but there you go, that's done. And let's put the uh, tube back on. And hopefully we should repair it. Okay, so we need to do the test drive. It's not just a simple case of getting in the, into the cop into the car. You have to go to the garage door and click test drive car, and then say yes. Okay. You think <laughs> you would be nice with a bit of a prompt there. Okay, so we're gonna steer the car. We we'll change camera. Oh yeah, there you go. We can change cameras, so we can also drive the car. So let's let's uh, drive it. <laughs> so I'm now going to be testing the brakes. We've done the brakes. That's the next test. Lost where it's supposed to be. Ow. <laughs> Suspension test by the looks of it. But I've missed the thing out, which is a slalom. Uh, I'm going to get back there. Uh, I think this is the slalom, but yeah, let's try it. All right, you've got to hit the greens for it to be a pass. There you go. So I've got to do the slalom, but you've got to go over the greens, which I didn't do before. There's another green one there. And I can turn. I've done the slalom. So now the, the uh, suspension test. Okay, so we did that test. So that's straightforward enough. But you have to remember to go to the garage door to do the test drive because if you don't, you can be looking around the garage for ages. It's not just a matter of getting in the car. Okay, so uh, what have we done? We've done we replaced all worn out parts. Okay, so we need to check for any worn out parts and replace them. So let's check these. this the problem again where you've uh, what is going on show repair order right we've done the test drive right. you need to replace all the worn out parts but how do they get back in the game here now oh no I'm I mean disassemble the engine I need to put that back right okay so I, I don't want to do that I want to go to I want to go to examine. And that's okay. So 
them, examine all these parts, put any wear and tear, that's okay. That's 64, and that's okay. Tide inspection. Well, they all seem to be in good order. Let's go around the back. Actually, let's put this back. Put everything back. Put back on. Oh, come on. Put the wheel back on. If that's okay. Looks like that's fine to me. Can see any problems there? What about the suspension? Oh, that looks bad. So I think we need to get a suspension spring on sp uh, suspension spring front, definitely. The shock absorbers and suspension the front. Go around the other side and have a look at the other side of the suspension. Let's quick look at the engine. Now is this condition unknown? Oh, because we're in because oh, we're in disassemble and disassemble mode. We need to be we need to be in this mode, in examine mode. That's 79. Okay, that's fine. Where's the belt? That's fine. So I'll put a suspension. When it says condition unknown, they're not really sure whether it's supposed to say you need to replace it or not, so it's a bit confusing. Okay. So I, th I think it's just a suspension. The suspension front and the suspension shock absorber. Let's see if we can buy some. Suspension, suspension. Shock absorber front left. Yes. That, right, yes. Oh, I think I might have ABS. Oh. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> anyway, this could take a while. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click escape and I'm going to go to the main menu because this that could take a while. I don't want to. Yeah, I was going to run out of time. Let's, get, let's save and exit the main menu. And I'm going to just see what the other options were. So I click on begin. And click on play. And what's this quarter, no, quarter mile add on? What's that all about? So you get the basic idea. You've got to work out what you need to change. You got you can drive the car. You can order parts. So it's all, it's all pretty good. Some of it you need to think about. Right, so what's this about? Repair invoice. Okay. So, what am I supposed to do with this? Oh. Test drive the car, I suppose. I'll have it on a track. Okay, off we go. Nope. So I'm not really quite 
not sure what, what, what the intention is yet. Right, so it's timed it a quarter of a mile. And what does that mean we have to do? Hello? So what does this mean? <laughs> this has been a bit stuck now. Okay, we've done a quarter of a mile. Um, and what next? So it looks like we have to tune the car to get it faster, I suppose. Okay, so what do we do now? Chip tune in. Begin by launching EEPROM, and then the task is to set the blocks at equal levels. So a task is to set the block at equal levels. Every modification of a block changes the level of the other ones. For example, after raising the value of block 1, that I block 2 will 4. Power gains from chip choose equals the level of all three blocks arranged in a line. After setting all three blocks at the level corresponding to the expected increase in power, click the up level and perform a test. Alright, oh, okay. So, as we've got to do this first then. Begin dyno test. Okay, fine. So, there you go. So we've done that. Right, EEPROM, and let's see the test now. No, that looks okay. 15% difference. So we can see there what we've done. We've tuned it, and we've gained 15% extra from what we had before. So what we're going to do now, I'm going to quit all there and go drive the car again. So it was just a tuning exercise. Wait for this to load. Okay, let's go and drive the car again. So let's go back out the door. Sounds worse. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, is that better? I don't know. I think it was a little bit better. Let's just see what he says. Here we go, we're loading again. <laughs> so, what happens now then? All oh, right, here we go. We have to get it below fourteen ten. So w w what we did, we didn't actually do that, did we? Because um, we swayed all over the place. So let's try it again. Let's go back out the door. No messing about this time. I'm going to try and do it properly. So here we go. Oh my good god! Skidded everywhere! Oh <laughs> dear dear. Return to the garage. Oh, this is a nightmare. Gonna try again. So. Come on, load up. Yes, we're going to the test track. It's because I'm using the keyboard. I think it's easier when you have a wheel to use. So here we go, we've got hit less than 14 seconds, I'm not going to start to steal it anywhere now. Come on. So we've got it at 15.89. That's not enough, is it? I don't think so. So this is what it's supposed to do. Uh, we're supposed to get an increase in speed. 
And what did we actually get? We got a yeah, no, we caught a mile below 14. 10. So we didn't actually do that, did we? Um. Okay, let's try again to tune it up. Do the dyno roller, we'll tune the car. I will try this one more time and then uh, we'll see what we can do. So uh, let's go, let's just check the mile to set the block. Emma will change the block one, number two will fall. Okay. Yeah, block one, number two will fall. Okay. Okay, we'll do it again. Let's do it again. Let's uh, program me prom. So we are going to. Getting correct ratio here again. Who is it? Okay, get on. <laughs> I'm not sure what I'm supposed to be doing. Let's go by here. Ah, oh, that's better. So, that oh, looks really good. I uh, click on that. I just clicked on plus on the end one, right? EEPROM. Now we're going to do a, a, a link and see what happens. So, we're going to get any more power. Looks better. No, minus 46? Never. Oh, it says incorrect ratio, mine. I'm all over the place. No, that's not going to work, is it? I think it looks like when it goes green, you think it's the right one. So I'm not quite sure what's going on here. Let's have a look. Chip tuning manual. Set the blocks at equal levels, which is what I did. Okay, let's try again. Equal level. Let's try and set them at equal levels, yeah? Try again. So we had minus forty six percent last time. Now ah, that's even worse. Oh dear God. So if I can see the at least at the top, right, it's gonna get it up here, right? So why isn't I don't show sure what what is going on here actually? It keeps saying incorrect ratio, but it's saying you're going to get an equal level. So, so we can think right. That's that's it. There, equal level, equal. No, equal. No, equal. No. So it's not actually helping me along here to say what am I supposed to be doing to get these equal. Let's put them all down. Let's put that down. There. Yeah, proper ratio. There you go. So it's quite confusing. You think you think green is the one that is the one that helps, but see if I can put that up a bit more. Now that is the proper ratio. Let's try that anyway, and then this is the last one we'll do. Let's see what happens. We got eight percent. Okay, uh, is it? We'll have one more go. Let's go to the garage. Once we're in the garage, and we can take it for a test drive and see what happens. Okay. So this is our last attempt at doing this. I went a bit late. <laughs> Right, and it was a bit late there, so it's time I'll do it, get one more go.
and then we'll have a look at the last ping before we end the video. So I'll try this again. Oh no, we want to go outside. So let's go outside. Of a better take off launch, so let's see if we can do anything better this time. Oh, nearly 14.79, right? Okay, that's it. Now we've spent too much time on this, but you can see what it is we're trying to achieve there. We're trying to tune the car so it gets to a certain time on the track, and uh, we failed to do that <laughs> so. What was the actual time we needed? Uh, we were in half hour, like 0.6 of a second, so we were getting there. Now let's go back to the menu, and I think there's one more to look at before we end the video, and that is I think it's going to be the 454 add on. I don't it's endless, this for. So let's see what this is all about. This is our last section of the video. And uh, like I said, this is the first time that we've looked at this. So we're, in, we're also in the dark like you are. So here we go. Mount new wheels. That's what we need to do. So we need to get some new wheels and mount them. And I think we need to go and buy them first. Click on that, go to the car parts shop, is it? And some tyres. See if we got any tyres. Oh, there's some tyres there. Gold Grand Olsen Wheel, Genesis Town. Oh, what a car we got for our first of all. We need to find that out, won't we? So. We have a Bolthorn Wanderer. So we need to get those wheels for that one. Let's go. Parts uh, wheels just a Genesis. There they are. There they are. So we need one, two, three, four. So what we need to do is take this off. There's assemble mode. Oh. Okay, and uh, we go to assemble mode, put the new tire on, yep, here we go, new tires going on, let's go to the rear wheel, Disassemble this one. We got one, two, three, four, five. Assemble. New, new one goes on. Oh. Sorry, had an itch. <laughs> there you go. In this one, that's wheel two. I hope I got the right wheels now for front and back. Okay, that's that one on. Take this rear wheel off. So this is a 4x4 version, it looks like it just worked with 4x4 cars. So, uh, assemble mode, <laughs> letting that one on, put a new tyre on. We've got one more to do after this. Come on in you get. Right, so back over to the front. Let's take these out. He got a gun. <laughs> I mean, uh, a gun to take their bolts out. Right, so, sample mode. So, we've got four lovely new tyres on here.
Okay, we don't need to spec the engine now. So, return to garage. Can we finish this order off? And we can. That's fantastic. So, that's it. So, look at the 4x4 pack. It just allows you to, to fix 4x4 cars. And I've got to say, it's, it's quite an enjoyable game for 99 pence. You, I mean, I, you, 99 pence is what it, what it cost me. And uh, it teaches you a little bit about a car as well. I think there's some areas where, for example, you can't get into the options to change your mouse movement. Like, now I can't get in. I've got to go to the main menu. And there's some things where you get stuck where you're not quite sure what, what to do next. For example, it says test drive the car. And you think by opening the door, you get in and drive it. But no, you have to go to the guy. It makes sense. But it'd be helpful, like, you know, if, it, if there's a little pointer than that. So that, that's another little thing that um, I think could be, do with improving. Um, let's go back and to the main menu. On the whole, though, for 99 pence, you cannot complain. It is very well worth it, and it teaches you about cars, and it's fun, and it's not st a stressful game, except when you get a bit lost, but there's lots of resources out there. So, on that basis, because of the value, the graphics are pretty good, I mean, they're not, they're not like, um, out, out of this world, but they're, 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 they're good graphics, so the whole package of 99p, I'm going to base the rating here on the fact that it's cheap, it's enjoyable, and it's, um, and it helps you learn so on that basis i'm going to give this 7.5 out of 10. so that's car mechanic simulator 2014. of course please visit our website and our channel for more videos on other types of simulators including buses trains flights military and uh, we hope to be back very shortly with a new video in the meantime don't forget check us out on youtube check us out on our website and till next time goodbye